Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, it is Friday. And like I told y'all, the next three Fridays until Easter, I'm going to be doing a fifth segment of the week on Friday morning for Lent. And I'm getting fancy today, y'all. Very simple, very easy. I'm making grilled salmon. Salmon is a very, very delicate fish, meaning it doesn't take long to cook. And there's a thin line between it's ready and then it's overcooked and dry. Salmon is very expensive. This piece of salmon here cost me $16 a pound. This is a pound I cut in two pieces. I'm gonna make two portions. So that's two eight ounce portions. That cost me $16. It's very expensive, y'all, salmon. Sometimes you can get it cheap or whatever, but this is a regular Atlantic uh, salmon. You can get the king salmon, which is very, very uh, more uh, orange, which the king salmon is very good. But I like salmon smoked out on the grill and it tastes like smoked butter y'all salmon is very underrated piece of fish of course only thing i don't like about salmon you can't fry it you can't fry it but who eats fried salmon but i like mine grilled or baked and i'm grilling this one today all i'm gonna put on it y'all uh olive oil and salt and pepper that's all you need to put on fish most salmon because it has such a nice flavor content it very has a very high fat content in it I mean, it doesn't take long to cook. It tastes very, very delicious if cooked properly. But before I get to that, I got some asparagus here. I'm going to grill off with it. I got some rice already cooked off. We're going to pull a hollandaise I already made. Y'all seen me make hollandaise before. Uh, and I'm going to make some uh, deal hollandaise. I got some fresh deal there you see laying right there. I'm going to chop that up and put that on top of the salmon. Deal complement salmon so, so good, y'all. And I'm gonna make a put the little holidays in the deal. So all I got here, a little salt and kosher salt, white pepper, a little olive oil there on the asparagus. You know, I'm gonna go. You see my holidays I made right there. I got some rice back there, and that's all we are gonna serve with this fish, y'all. Very simple. Mix this together with my asparagus, and we just gonna grill this asparagus up, y'all. Put in my grill pan here. Nothing like good grilled asparagus, right? Don't get no better than that. Put that in there. Here we go. Now we're gonna let that grill off there. It'll take about six, seven minutes. Get it grilled off really, really nice. Put it on the side of the plate. And we're gonna put the salmon right in the same pan. The salmon ain't gonna take about six, seven minutes to cook. Salmon don't take long at all. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna get this uh, asparagus grill off and we'll be right back, get to work on the salmon. Old school soul food, TGI fish of the week segment. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, y'all, look at these beautiful grilled asparagus, y'all. How pretty are this? Put them in my grill pan. Now we're gonna take them off. Put them right here on my plate. Nothing like grilled asparagus, y'all. Nothing like grilled asparagus. How pretty is that? Healthy as you can get right there, huh? Okay, now, got the same grill pan here. I'm gonna keep it hot. We're gonna move over here to the salmon. Now, all I'm gonna do to the salmon, like I told y'all, I'm gonna put a little olive oil on here, salt and pepper. We're gonna cook it on one side. Put a little olive oil on there. Give me some kosher salt and white pepper. Eating it really nicely. That's it, y'all. Nothing else needs to go on this salad. You ain't got to put no fish seasoning, no nothing. It's going to be nice, healthy, delicious salmon. Move back over to the skillet. My grill here. Yeah, right here. Nice tea on here. I'm going to just let it go. The only thing I'm going to do after it sit in that position for a little bit. I'm gonna kinda turn it this way, get some nice grill marks on it, and I'll probably finish it in the oven for another two or three minutes, that's it. So we'll be back once I flip it over, y'all, and show you the top side and put it in the oven. That's pretty much it. This is an easy peasy meal for your uh, Lenten season. It's getting fancy on Lenten season, y'all. Anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, I got the salmon. All I did was kind of crisscross it while I had a nice grill marks on it. 
And it's been cooking for five minutes, y'all. Only five minutes. I'm going to turn it over, cook it for another two or three minutes on the other side. And this salmon is ready, y'all. Let me turn it over and show y'all. Salmon is so delicate. See that? It's so delicate. It doesn't take much for salmon. So I cook it on this other side here for about, like I say, two or three minutes. And this salmon is ready. You ain't got to do nothing to see how, see how it's almost, you do not want to overcook the salmon. So another two minutes on this side, two to three minutes on that, I said five to six minutes, that's it on salmon. It's that delicate and that quick to, to grill off. Like I say, okay? So anyway, y'all, we'll, we'll be right back when it's ready. Be right back. All right, y'all, this salmon is ready. Look at that. See that? See how it's flaking right there? I'm gonna pretty much just turn it off. All I did was turn the skin off and let the residual heat pretty much cook the rest of it. I got my asparagus right there, the hollandaise. We're gonna plate this thing up. And uh, rice, hollandaise, rice, asparagus, salmon, little lemon on there. I'm telling y'all, this is all you need for a nice, it's pretty much healthy uh, way of eating fish on Friday. You got on, like I said, you're in the lint and uh, before Easter, this is a perfect dish. So I'm gonna plate it up. Be right back, and we're going to give it a taste test. We will be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Look at this here. Look at this here. Now, how simple is this, y'all? Is that restaurant quality or what? I got my hollandaise sauce on the uh, asparagus. I put some, like I told you, I put some fresh deal in the other hollandaise. It goes well with salmon, a little rice on there, grilled asparagus. Hey, that's a perfect healthy. Well, I ain't going to say healthy. With all that butter in the hollandaise but it's very simple to make it home very refreshing like i say this plate right here in the restaurant is gonna cost you about 35 bucks in vegas it's gonna cost you 50. but most restaurants gonna cost you about 25 30 dollars you can make it at home for who it cost shoot you're looking at about maybe eight dollars it costs really if you break it down in some metrics so, anyway, y'all, let's dig in here. I like to go to the end of this salmon because it's so buttery. You see how moist that salmon? See the juice in that salmon, y'all? See if it can focus. Yeah. Some little deal, little, little deal hollandaise on there, y'all. Look at that. Mm. I'm telling y'all, it melts in your mouth like butter. It's very important that you don't overcook your salmon. I tell people, I'm going to give you a close-up. This salmon here. See that? See inside? See how, see how juicy that salmon is? That's definitely how it's supposed to look. See how juicy it is? That's what you want. Don't overcook a perfect piece of meat. Okay. Nice tender spider. I love me some asparagus, y'all. Mm. I love me some asparagus. Mm. For a while. Nice and tender. You grit it off 10, 12 minutes. Mm. For a while. A little perfectly cooked rice. See how flaky that rice is. Not overcooked. Not mushy. Perfectly cooked. Mmm. One more bite, y'all. I love salmon, y'all. I love it. Look at, look at that. Perfectly cooked salmon, y'all. I hate people. Mm. Take a piece of fish and dry it out. One more bite, y'all. Y'all know I love me some salmon. I love fish anyway. If it's cooked properly. I love that deal hollandaise on there. Mm. So, I'm going to put the recipe for the hollandaise sauce too under the description of the video. I made hollandaise so many times on video. I ain't do it this time on video. It takes me six minutes to make hollandaise. Put it in a bowl with the egg, a little vinegar, salt, and pepper. 
about a teaspoon of water, put a little water bath, cook it about five minutes, pour your hot butter in there, mix it up, set it on top of the stove, warm plate, voila, you got holidays. Some people put holidays in the blender and all that. That's not necessary. We don't cook blended holidays in the restaurant industry, y'all. We do it in the bowl on top of the stove. So, anyway, let me close the video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other so Yeah, I wonder what the other plate is for. I got a special friend here, and she wants a, a fancy salmon dinner. I said, come over, I'm going to do a fancy uh, salmon dinner today. And you can definitely have the other plate, so <laughs> won't be on camera. But yeah, that's what the other plate is for. So I'm in here to close the video so you can eat. So anyway... Let me close this video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Patreon, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023. Just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.